we're going to be filming a small prank today here. Uh, I'm actually getting my car fixed right now. Um, so I figured while we wait for like half an hour, we can get some of the footage done. What do you say? What is that? Joey! What? Show me the... Oh, that's cool. Alright, um... Got my car fixed or whatever. And we tried filming the prank. We got one shot. Um, it seems like no matter how hard I try, we can't film during the week. Just because, like, there's no one out there. I mean, there's people in the stores, but there's, like, uh, some pranks doesn't matter. Um, some pranks you can do to many people. You do, you can do it to 50 people, and all you need is, like, 20 good shots. Because the, the prank is, like, you've got, it doesn't require using anything that, you know, uh, you run out of. Uh, but for this prank, uh, we have these poppers, obviously, and, um, we only had, like, Ten of them, which I thought, hey, ten shots probably make a good five minute video. So, uh, but we had to be we have to be good about who we choose to do for the prank. We can't just go up to any person because we want a good reaction. So we kind of scam people thinking, okay, who will think this is funny? So this isn't one of those pranks where we can just go do it to anyone. So I don't know. It's kind of put on hold right now for that prank video. But uh, I don't know. What we're gonna do today might go see a movie or something. We'll see. Wow, uh, I wonder if that new Tom Cruise movie's out. <gasps> oh, the ducks are outside. baseball game that he had to go do while he was out of town, so he's riding the bus, I have to pick him up when he gets back into town. <clears throat> um, today, I don't know, we are, like I said, from, we tried filming a prank yesterday and it didn't go good. Um, this is going to be another two-day vlog just because yesterday's vlog was super short. Pretty much after that, there uh, wasn't much, wasn't much going on. Yes, I hear you. Um, so, we have a new idea for a new prank, we're going to be filming it on Sunday. Noah's actually going to be in this one. He's actually going to be doing the prank, so it's going to be pretty cool. You guys will see it on Sunday. How are you doing? He's the weirdest cat. He's like super long and short legs. Lexus, hey! Say so at least you scored though. Yeah. Alright, uh, maybe your stuff. Oh, thanks for taking it off. Yeah. Um, what time does mom usually get home? Like 5.30. Yep. <coughs> you got that letter? Okay. Yep. Alright, see ya. See ya. Uh, normally, if I were to do something like this, I'd kind of hang out at the house for a little bit with Colton, but uh, we got some other stuff I gotta get done today. I called the, uh, the costume store, and they said they don't have, uh, there's a, another prank I'm thinking of doing, they don't have the costume I'm looking for. And right now I'm a little low on the money, so uh, usually if that were to happen, I would just, you know, just buy the costume. Tell 
it's going to start raining soon. I don't think it should rain too hard, but it's supposed to start raining pretty soon. At Tostino Pizza in. Um, I thought I'd show you guys something real quick. Um, senior year in high school, uh, I was on yearbook. And for two years, I was on the newspaper, which was really fun. And this was the yearbook that we made uh, during uh, our senior year, 2011. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it, obviously. Um, I'm going to find just a few interesting stuff, a couple of pages I made. Uh, what we did uh, for something interesting and new, we had these pictures, all right? So these are photoshopped, and we told everyone, because they didn't know what it was for, we said, just pretend like you're, I had a green screen set up, and we said, pretend like you're holding a sign. And they really, obviously, they knew that, you know, we we're going to be putting a sign, but they didn't know what. So on every page is a student from the school, and it has them holding up a sign. Like, there we go, right there. So... Um, that was like a lot of work for me to Photoshop all that in there. Um, but anyway, uh, going through some of the uh, extra page stuff. So like right here, um, I didn't uh, create this page. Um, I helped create some of the stuff on it, like I helped create the uh, middle part right here. Um, but Sound Stations is a really cool event that like everyone looks forward to during the year. It's a big like where it's kind of like a talent show. Uh, mostly music stuff. Uh, sometimes I'll throw like a little bit uh, uh, extra different stuff in there. Um, but we did Sound Stations twice. I, I can't remember. Uh, we did do it my senior year though. Um, here's the picture right here. So that's me right there. I was playing bass guitar and vocals. There's Noah on the drums and there's Kale playing lead guitar. Uh, so that was really fun. Uh, here is a page that I made. I did the auto hub, culinary, and building trades page. Um, I created several pages in here, um, and almost not I'm not, not every page. What's you know, but uh, on a lot of pages, I helped like do something for it. Uh, not just the uh, not just you know the, the whole sign thing, but I helped you know do something uh, for the page. Um, but it was fun. It was uh, everyone. Everyone helped out a lot. Um, everyone that was on your book, they did awesome. Uh, especially like I said, with the cover, we did. Uh, our theme was something gold, something blue, something bold, and then something you. That's what the whole sign thing is for uh, um, during uh, during or for the whole theme for the yearbook. Now, right here uh, during um, homecoming week. We have all the special days, you know, and one of the days was Classy Day, which I had really fun doing, and I rented a Zoot suit from the costume store. And here's the picture right here. I So these are kind of hard to focus on. But that's me right there. I got this white Zoot suit thing going on. Um, this is Beth. Uh, she was also on yearbook with me. And so I had the hat and everything. And I actually didn't know that I always thought, you know, we just did it for fun. Like, that was it. But then, it turns out, like, there was, like, a competition thing, too. So, like, all the teachers would wa see everyone walking around, and they'd vote on who, like, who's the best for each day. Like, there was, like, you know, robe day or something like that. And I think this was classy day, too. Um, and I didn't know. And I got called up at the end of the day because I won classy day for, for the senior guys. So I was like, oh, you know, that was cool. I had no idea. So that was fun. Um, I'm trying to find the... There's oh man, there's like so many good pictures on here though. Like here's the senior page, going into the senior. So these are all the people that I spent most of my school years with. Okay, so here is the we call it uh, for the newspaper. We were the Cat Chronicles was our title. So uh, I didn't create the page, um, but I did help in taking some of the pictures. I can't remember. I did some for this page. Um, but this is this funny picture. That's actually me right there <laughs> uh, in the trash can. And that uh, is Sam Lenz. He's a really cool guy. Really funny. Good drummer. Um, and then, like, here's all our pictures that we use. Like, uh, these would be our pictures next to our articles so people would know, like, who wrote it. The lower half of my face. So I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, no, that was really fun. I love doing the... Uh, 
the uh, Cat Chronicles. Did it for two years. First year as a writer, second year as an editor. Um, and as an editor, you write a little bit, but not as much, obviously. And here we go. All right, so uh, I had to get my pizza. My pizza until it was done. Uh, but here, uh, I really wanted to do something. I remember I, I talked to um, our teacher for uh, New Year or New Year's uh, yearbook. Um, and I wanted to do a new page. Like I was like every year I saw the yearbook, there was always a page I always thought deserved to be in the yearbook, but was never there. And it was students that had like jobs, you know, like most of the students, I'd say at least half, maybe more of the students in high school, I'd say especially juniors up had jobs. And so, and I always thought that was kind of like a, an important thing because you know they're doing a lot of work not only at school but after school which uh, means you know they're out you know doing extra stuff for the community whatever you want to call it um, and so you know they uh, you know they do a lot of work like that and uh, whether they're out for sports whatever else so uh, I really wanted to and I got permission to make the page I was super happy about it um, so this was the page it was called life after school HHS employees and so we couldn't obviously get everyone. Um, I know um, we got some of the main places, like the main places around town. Uh, we got pictures of them, uh, uh, of like the group, and then like where they worked. And I got a few pictures of them actually at work. So that was really cool. So like here's some for Pizza Hut. And as you also need to know, this is a small town. It's a decent small town. It's like a medium sized town. So the places if. If you're thinking we have a McDonald's, we have a Wendy's, we have Taco Bell, all sorts of, we don't have that. So considering we have a Pizza Hut here, uh, pizza hut here um, that's very, very rare. But anyway, um, so yeah, we had a Pizza Hut. Um, this is like a Hardee's crew right here. They all worked at Hardee's. Um, see, there's this place. It's called Caribbean Coffee uh, or Coffee House, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people, it's a really good coffee shop. I've been there uh, a lot. Um, and then this, on the right side of the page, um, I didn't intend to have this much of where I worked, because I worked, you know, at Fairway, at the grocery store. Uh, but apparently, the, uh, and after, well, the way, the way it worked is after our pages were done, like, we sent them in to the actual teacher, and she would always go in and kind of, you know, fix up a few things that she thought I need to be fixing up, which is fine. It's no big deal. Um, so this was the fairway crew at the time. So yep, yeah, there's me and Tyler. He still works at fairway. You've seen him in a couple of vlogs, if you remember. Um, and then there's Miranda. And now this this is what, what was really really funny. Uh, so Miranda's in this picture, right? But way over here in the background, it's kind of hard to see. But that is Noah. That is Noah right there. Um, he looks. Oh my goodness, he looks so different really different but oh man I think uh, it doesn't say uh, he would say he's not tagged in it I'd say because it always put the description underneath of who it is and where they're at you know um, so yeah fairway we had the whole fairway well not the whole fairway crew we just had a few fairway employees in there uh, so that was cool and now here we are at the and this was my page to make um, I was in charge of, like we had like so many pages we were supposed to do but I was in charge of the yearbook page, which I was really happy to do. I wanted to make it really good. And I wanted to make it special. So what I did, and it's actually funny, there was the perfect amount of numbers for girls and boys to kind of split this up. There was actually only three guys. It was me, Matt, and Chris. Those were the only guys. The rest of them were girls on yearbook. Um, so, so starting at the corner, we have Sydney right here. <clears throat> and then we have uh, Emilita. And then there's uh, Chris. Uh, he's an excellent drummer. Also, he plays guitar a little bit too. So then we have Zoe. Then we have Molly. Then we have Shelby. And there's Matt. There's Beth. Um, Kendall. Bailey. And uh, here's the interesting thing with Bailey. Um, actually, I'll say it right after. Um, and then we have Carl. But anyway, now here's the thing with Bailey. Um, she's really good with pictures and whatnot, but she actually designed this, the, the cover. The cover and back cover. Um, obviously once we actually got it on the computer and got the detail on, um, it came out awesome. But she had the original idea to kind of do something like this. So, uh, props, props for Bailey for, uh, 
for doing that. And we wanted to get a couple of group pictures in there. So, huh, uh, what we did was, this is a uh, black and white color picture. And we all went out one day and basically we took these leaves and we basically just chucked them up in the air. And so I basically went through, got all the leaves colored. That took like a long time. Had everyone else colored, but I left the rest of it black and white. Um, that is me right there. I'm actually pointing. I was kind of like trying to do like a pointing thing. Um, down here, uh, this is the bridge that actually just got knocked down recently. And what we were doing was we were all spitting off the bridge right now. So, uh, and then we, I put the label, we spit out the truth. So it's kind of, obviously you can't really tell, but that's supposed to be what's kind of uh, implied that we're uh, spitting over the edge right now. Um, and something else, another thing I thought would be awesome, and they didn't think I could do it. And I was like, it sounds pretty easy to me, and I want to get all of our actual signatures on there. I thought that would be so cool. And for some reason they thought that it would be super hard, and actually it's like the easiest thing in the world. Um, but I had everyone write their signature, and then I did a photocopy of it. And then I basically just use Photoshop just to extract the actual, uh, and then uh, everyone else's name. So it's really cool to have all our signatures on it right there. <clears throat> so I just wanted to kind of go through a little bit, uh, just kind of show off. Obviously, I can't go through everything. Uh, basically, just kind of letting you guys see a little bit more about my my life, what I've done, and whatnot. Uh, here's the senior page, all the senior pictures. I'm not going to go through everyone. I might go through everyone someday. I'll kind of go through and show you off everything. Uh, I'll show you two more things. Uh, one, there is my senior picture right there. Actually, there's one. I'll show you just a couple more things. One, there is my senior picture right there. Uh, so, yeah, I had the long hair at the time. It was a little bleached or whatever. Now, this... Dear Lord, anyone, everyone who is on yearbook, especially if you're watching right now, you know how long and frustrating this took. Okay, we did this page called Senior Connections. Now, every senior's name is in here, in the gold. And basically, we want to do a connection page. So, like, basically saying that all of us, no matter if we were good friends, bad friends, we're all connected in a way. And so basically we went through, you're like, Matt Bentz worked at Hy-Vee with Chris Matson, And, you know, the, it just goes on. Uh, Jessica Kuiper, who had, or who was on drill team with Heidi Christopher, it just keeps going on and on. And now the problem, that t the reason it took so long was because people kept, like, transferring. Like, people kept transferring into school. Some of them transferred out of school. So, like, the whole time we had to keep rewriting it because certain people weren't going to be graduating with us. So... Yeah, it was, it was bad, uh, but we finally ended up getting it done. Um, this is funny, right here. Um, what is the senior class picture? It's really cool. Um, I actually won an award on senior day. I didn't know. Well, I mean, I, I know, I know, I won. But afterwards, they're supposed to have pictures of the people who won, and <laughs> I'm not there. They end up putting my name in the description. Uh, to let them know that I the, the 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 award that I won was the business award, so that it was um, it was fun. Uh, but I didn't know I was like probably because it was graduation day. I can't remember if I was told or not told to actually, you know, hey, after the awards are given, you need to come back and get your picture taken. I didn't know that, but um, there's a picture in here at the end of the book. I can't remember what you call it. It's just a donation thing. Oh, here it is, right here. Boom, baby me. So, yeah, I didn't know she did that. And I wasn't in charge of the back page, so I never knew she put it in there. But anyway, I just wanted to go through a little something. So the old yearbook. Why did I pause there? That's going to be the thumbnail, just so you know. You'll see it, obviously, in your video. Oh, yeah, that is the thumbnail. Uh, so, yeah, old yearbook. Um, hopefully. Ah, uh, it's fuzzy. Focus. Focus! Come on. Focus. Why is this never focus when I want it to focus? Yeah, it's better. Anyway. Okay. Uh, it's later in the day, uh, obviously, guys. Um, hope you like that. Uh, I might go over a little bit more to that yearbook sometime. Kind of show off uh, some stuff that we made. But we're back home. Uh, we, we had a couple errands to go do. 
but and I normally like in that one vlog I said that you know I had McDonald's in a long time and I remember why because I'm at that age where I just don't think I can digest McDonald's anymore. <laughs> it just doesn't feel good after I eat, like half an hour after I'm eating it, I'm just like, oh, jeez. But anyway, um, I am actually going to probably go ahead. Oh, tomorrow is going to be fun. Uh, we got a few things we're going to be doing. Um, we have, well, you'll, I'll just show you. You, you guys are in for a treat uh, tomorrow. Um, but I'm probably going to get to editing on this vlog, so it'll be up for you guys tomorrow. Uh, this will be another kind of a day and a half vlog, basically, whatever you want to call it. So, um, I don't really have anything else for you guys to do. Uh, somewhat slow day, I, I guess you could say. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.